hi guys so today i just wanted to do a chill with me video before i begin this was inspired by lulu crossing who does chill with me videos also she does pocket camp ones and yonder ones so i'll leave her down below in the description but i really wanted to just do a video where i'm chilled out and i don't have to do a ton of editing and i can just be calm and not have my usual ah uh, energy i mean that energy is still gonna be there it's just my editing is not gonna support that usually i make my editing also in loop with me whereas now you've just got me instead of the crazy editing too i know that my pocket camp videos are usually quite chill anyways but they still have like quite a bit of editing and i have to cut out when i say weird things but you know this is just chilling out so you're gonna hear me and all of my weirdness for the first time i say this as if you don't already know i'm weird if you watch my videos or you know me in real life but here we are um i had a break from pocket camp because i kind of got bored uh i know i can't believe i'm saying i got bored of an animal crossing game but it's like I've got all this excitement in me for New Horizons and it's not coming for another two months. And I I think it was about a month that I haven't played Pocket Camp. So if you're friends with me, I'm very sorry. But I'm back on there now, as you can see, because I'm filming this video. I will be talking about New Horizons quite a bit and Pocket Camp, obviously, and why I got bored of it. But I'm not going to be talking about as much as what I'm doing in the game. I'm just kind of running around, getting fruit, getting fish, doing some tasks, you know. Because I'm not here to properly play the game. It's just a little chill out thing. So here we go. If there is any editing in this, it's going to be me editing out when I have a pause and I don't know what to say. Or when I do like a little cough because I cough a lot when I'm filming. I also sneeze and hiccup and you don't really need to be hearing that, especially in a chill with me, because that is not gonna chill you out really, is it? So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is New Horizons and why I'm so excited and everything. Oh my God, there is so much new content. When I say there's so much new content, like we've been told that we're gonna get toe beans on the animals, we've got new hairstyles and that's it do we even have new hairstyles i forgot but all i know is tom nook is taking the center stage and i really do not know how to feel about that if i'm honest i'm a major major isabel stan and i know i say all of these things about tom nook i don't actually hate him but he's not my favorite character so i'm not like yay tom nook i do think you know he uh robs us a little bit cough cough but I'm not like, oh no, kick Tom Nook out of the game. It's just a little bit of banter. Did I just say banter, like, ironically in 2020? I, that wasn't ironic. I'm so dumb. It was unironic. But yeah, I just said banter. Let's move on. So yeah, basically I, I just really love Isabel. And whenever there's Isabel, I will want to be with Isabel it's been confirmed that she's in the game but she doesn't seem to have as much as a role as she did in new leaf and she's been the marketing for the game in absolute years so it makes me really sad that they've changed it and it's no longer is about maybe she'll have more of a role when we get into it i guess we'll just have to wait and see really it's hard to predict but either way i'm still excited tom nook or not so yes new horizons the excitement is real right now two months to go boys we can hang on in there and we can stick with pocket camp and new leaf for two more months and of course if you play the older version like wild world etc then you know you've got those to play with too but if you play amiibo festival to kind of uh cover the void i have zero respect for you like amiibo festival died i don't think it ever lived let's be real but uh yeah that's my opinion on animal crossing games for you <laughs> see with pocket camp i think the whole reason i got bored was it's just the same thing over and over of course when you're playing the actual games you've got more interaction with the animals and you can go to their place and then you can like 
schedule things to do with them and I know that Pocket Camp has little events but the little events get very repetitive because it's always like scavenger hunt, fishing event, gardening event and then it's like can we please have something new like we don't have new horizons so can you please give us something to do while we wait for it you know it's just a bit dead at the moment but I've just gone back on today literally for the first time in a month I actually ended up deleting it from my phone whoops but I had it linked to a Nintendo account so it didn't really change anything but I've gone back in and there's new fortune cookies but they're all winter and it's nearly spring and some of the stuff's really cute like you can get plushies and stuff but it's the fact of like it's gonna be spring soon so I'm gonna spend all of my leaf tickets on this winter furniture and whatever and I'm gonna put it down and then in like two weeks time I'm gonna take it all up again because spring is here and then it's just a waste of leaf tickets so as cute as it all is I refuse to buy the cookies apologies but I do really like the little wolf plushie it's very very cute so as cute as they are I'm not prepared and I'm gonna save my leaf tickets for something else and I'm really hoping they reissue the Sanrio cookies because I really really miss those um I never was able to get any of them so hopefully when they're reissued if they're reissued I can get a ton of them I'm holding on to my leaf tickets until that day Oh my god, my cat's next to me and I think she's going to vomit. Please, no, you are on my bed. This is not chilled. This is not calm. I'm trying to relax people. Can you not vomit? Um, yeah, really sorry about that interruption with my cat. She is uh, an interesting being. Oh my god, please stop. She's just heaving on my bed. I'm very, very sorry if you can hear her. It's not very chilled. And this is not going how I planned. I don't think you can ever be completely chilled when you have pets. I got like a little bit off topic. Yeah, I said it right. Um, then with my animals. But because it's a chill with me, I'm not too bothered. I usually get off topic in my normal videos. But because this is a chill with me, it's like I don't have to focus on the game. So it's quite nice actually because I often trail off onto other things that really are very unrelated to what is actually going on. So now I can do that and not have to apologise about it. Which is why I'm hoping I can do more chill with me videos and they're perceived quite good on my channel. So yay. Also, one of my videos got to a thousand views and I'm shook because it's like, oh my god, what? It was my Nintendo Switch one and I'm really shocked. But the comments keep getting turned off because of this whole child rule. Like, I've never made videos and been like, okay, I'm gonna aim this at a five year old or a 10 year old or even a 13 year old. I make content that I enjoy and I think people like me will enjoy. I don't focus on age when creating content and I don't know how me making a video about Nintendo Switch accessories is gonna affect children really and why the comments need to be turned off on it. Like what kind of five year old is looking at Nintendo Switch accessories on YouTube? that they shouldn't have a nintendo switch they're five it's just it's really weird this whole copper thing and i'm just yeah i'll make a proper video on it soon because i kind of need to ramp because even though i'm a super small channel it's actually affected me quite greatly which i wasn't expecting and at first i was like uh there's ways to get around it but i've tried everything to get around it and uh it's just not happening so I'm gonna stop kind of rambling about that now because I do want to make a video on it in the future because I have a lot of opinions on that and I would like that to go into a video and it could be quite useful for some people and also a good thing for youtubers to relate to if they're a smaller youtuber or a bigger one just anyone really who is affected by this so yeah that's a good fun thing going on in my life i am like trying really hard with youtube i've had a little break 
this week that you may have noticed my upload has gone down uh that's purely because i'm back at college and i'm focusing on spending time with friends and stuff as well as balancing it with work and youtube so i'm trying to get all of it done i'm aiming for two videos a week really i know i used to upload like three but that was because i was on holidays and there was less stress going on with college i had less stuff to do but my workload has majorly increased because it's a really busy time of the year but I am working really hard so hopefully I can start uploading even more again and my channel can grow although I'm pretty happy with how much it's growing honestly I think I gained about 100 subs last month and it's absolutely insane like I never expected it to grow this fast so I'm very very happy about that and it's just not what I was expecting ever so thank you so much if you're watching this and you subscribe to me like it means a lot and actually thank you if you're watching me and you haven't subscribed because you still help me out by watching this so I really appreciate it and everyone who dms me on instagram saying they like my videos i'm like oh my god i actually love you thank you so much it means the world honestly to get feedback on my videos and people tell me that they enjoy them because i really struggle with accepting i don't know how to word it i'm a person who cares very very much about other people's opinions so it's like if somebody's like your issues bad or they know me in real life and they're like ha you do youtube you're so cringe and then i'm like okay i'm not gonna upload ever again and that's been happening since year nine like year nine i was such a sensitive person i still am but i've kind of learned to be like okay you don't need that negativity so push it away move on and continue doing youtube because it's something that you really like and that's something that i've learned this year well this year is 2020 2019 i learned that the end of it because i started surrounding myself with good people so i recommend that you do that and don't listen to other people especially the negative ones do what makes you happy not other people and don't care because it really isn't worth it life's too short you need to do what you want to do not what others think of you so there you go a bit of positivity for your day <laughs> so i don't really know like, what to talk about i have a lot of things to say but then i come to film something like this and my mind just kind of dies and it's like okay thank you i bet youtube is gonna go mad at me for saying the word die in a video like they are so sensitive you know what no one is more sensitive than youtube if you think you're sensitive don't worry because youtube is more sensitive so you know life is great on youtube um no sorry i do actually really enjoy this it's just i'm a bit annoyed by some of youtube's regulations especially like the laws and stuff that are laws in america but not the uk but we still have to abide by them even though we're not in the country but again for another time but my cat stopped heaving which is quite nice i kind of feel like i'm filming a podcast right now and it's quite chilled i like that i would start a podcast but my problem is i get too stressed when i'm under pressure and the fact there's hardly any editing in them and i just feel like i'd forget what to say and after a few weeks i'll be like um what do i even talk about so yeah that probably won't happen i'll just keep doing chill with me videos because it's slightly like a podcast it's just you get to see me run around different games i really want to get a oh my god what are they called they're like the little devices it starts with an e and you can record your videos on them for like switch and stuff so i'd really like to get one of those so when new horizons come out i can film new horizons videos i also want to film yonder and stardew valley videos because i don't see the point in getting stardew for my pc just to make content when i already have it on my switch and i want a screen recorder anyway it's just i know they cost a lot of money so i'll see if i can get there or not because 
sadly I do need my money for other things and not just things for content for YouTube and it makes me so sad because if I could I would spend all of my money on YouTube equipment but I have other priorities unfortunately so hopefully I can start getting better equipment soon like literally someone asked what camera I filmed with the other day I was like calm down I filmed with my own I can't speak iPhone 6s plus literally is what I record when I do face cams and all I do is I stick it on a tripod and I make sure I have even natural lighting or really good lighting like I got literally a 15 pound lamp off Amazon and the lighting is absolutely amazing so I will actually link that below because I use it in one of my videos I ended up taking that video down because I wasn't too pleased with it um it was the Rillacuma farm one but that game kind of got boring in the end and I deleted it anyway so it doesn't really matter <laughs> but uh yeah if you didn't watch that apologies that's gone uh, I just wasn't very proud with it so yeah I tend to do that if I'm not completely happy with the video it dies but I'm never happy with any of my videos so here we are we live in a society can i stop referencing these things okay so i've been filming for quite a while now and i feel like i'm just gonna end it here i wanted to start off the chill with me short and simple maybe it'll get longer as we go along they probably won't get shorter because then i find it a bit pointless but i hope you enjoyed this new type of content and please give me a thumbs up if you want more if you're new I'd really appreciate if you subscribed and turned the notifications on because I'm being generic right now and I genuinely really appreciate any support that you give me so thank you so much for actually staying till this point and I'll finish it up here thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very very soon with a new video goodbye <laughs>